Jessica Bethel of Autism Ontario says that the Alec Manassian murder trial undid years of work to destigmatize people with autism. The mass murderer argued that the fact that he has autism clouded his ability to truly understand the carnage he unleashed in the summer of 2018. We've actually had parents um, call in, we've had families email us and they've said, you know, my my son um, with autism now is going to be judged and people will automatically associate autism with violence. Justice Anne Malloy swatted away the argument while reading out her guilty verdict today, saying, quote, it still demonstrates that he had a functioning, rational brain, one that perceived the reality of what he was doing and knew it was morally wrong. Alex Manassian using autism as a defense for his heinous crimes has already caused a lot of pain for those in the community. But there could be more on the horizon, as Justice Anne Malloy points out, that this case could open the door to others using autism as a defense for their actions. Justice Malloy said while the case doesn't make a connection between autism and criminality, it does, quote, means that people with autism spectrum disorder are eligible to be considered for a possible defense under this section in the same manner as people with many other kinds of disabilities. Now, I think they have set the president. I think that we will see more and more um, cases where autism is actually used as the defense, and that is just, just mind-boggling. However, Bethel has faith that today's outcome shows using autism as a sole defense isn't enough to get a pass. Justice kind of prevailed in this case because uh, Justice Malloy looked at all those pieces and still was able to determine, yes, he has autism, but that was not, um, did not have anything to do with his criminality, or that was not the, you know, that was not the intent. Bethel says they've found that through research that people with autism are more often the victims of violence than the aggressor.